Good day, fellow investors. We continue with our stock analysis marathon, and now we're going to talk about Disney that has crashed recently. So let's see what is the risk and reward of the investment opportunity now. If you look at the long-term chart, you can see that Disney is a compounder, so slow and steady with periods of bad times that are normal, especially in the industry. So again, 2015, 2018 was a bad period again, and we are there where we were. This boom here was at the direct-to-consumer Netflix boom, 70% up, but then we have crashed back to normal levels. and. If I look at the five years, this is the big boom. And now we are there where we were five years ago. Nothing spectacularly happened to Disney stock, but let's see whether the business is that different. So here it paid a dividend. Now it doesn't pay a dividend. So a lot of things to discuss there to understand the risk and reward. The market cap, it is a huge business, 181 billion. The P ratio is high, but there have been some special circumstances lately. We have discussed Disney already likely once a year on this channel. And uh, this was very prescient because when the price was 105, I said that Disney Plus is worth more than Netflix and then the stock doubled, but now, is already down back to where it was. And if we look at the business, what's going on? Great numbers in the last quarter, revenues grew, everything looks improving, earnings per share are going up, and we had an excellent quarter as the CEO said, 14 million Disney Plus subscriber added, Netflix isn't adding, anything so 221 million total subscriptions across our streamings offerings and of these 14 million now that they have expanded to europe to all the countries we have also bought this now so i was watching to relax a little bit obi-wan kenobi last night nevertheless let's discuss the numbers per segment the biggest jump was of course in parks because due to the pandemic, this was blocked. Now people are returning to that and therefore we have a jump in revenue. Others have also enjoyed, despite not being that much at home, an 11% growth. And then depending on other segments, the operating losses have been there because they are expanding severely in the direct-to-consumer. And you can see how they lost 1.5 billion as they are building that business and that business is a loss making machine because if you look at the profits of the linear networks that is stable stable for the nine months likely 10 billion and then we have this business that is losing a lot of money but it is about building an ecosystem and their average monthly revenue per paid subscriber is much lower i think than Netflix, uh, it was cheap compared to Netflix. So I would like to cancel Netflix, but we have to discuss that in the family community because somebody likes this, someone likes that. Nevertheless, let's look at what the analysts have to say, the projections, the estimates, and then compare that to the stock price and also understand better the risk and reward. I'm again going to Seeking Alpha to get a better view of what the market thinks because then I get really good impressions of what's going on last week there was a small stock decline so uh, almost five percent because parks closed hurricanes and then people get into panic sell the stock alongside the market crash but again that rebounded fast as uh, maybe it passed or didn't make too much damage but these temporary occasions are then again an opportunity to add to the long-term legacy of the business now i found a good explanation here with uh, ryan thompson that wrote an article and showed what has happened with disney if you look at the operating profits it was pretty stable 15 billion and then even a little bit higher which is operating profit P ratio of 10 compared to the current market cap and the 2019 market cap then they started 
investing also lost the parks the profits there and that half the operating profits for Disney in 2021 now the situation is improving but to survive that they have issued a lot of that lowered a little bit and they have done something they have taken over 21st century Fox cut the dividend because of that which completely changed the stock the investment thesis and the perspective but then again Disney and 21st century Fox are then what they are what they have always been if we look at earnings we can see that it was a slow and steady compounding grower dividend and then they went into the acquisition direct to consumer expanding the business and we can see that earnings now are a quarter of what they were just a few years ago which then puts investors not into an easy position but those earnings we have to look at the potential if they can come back to this 840 and uh, even scale on the acquisition on everything that's the risk and reward with Disney you buy the business you buy the brands you buy the legacy you buy whatever Disney and all the other channels represent and if they can turn it back to profitability similarly to what we have on Warner Bros then it will likely be a great investment if we look at the consensus estimates of course now everything is still down 2023 but as things improve and things are expected to improve over time the consensus is to be in four years at eight dollars which would give you a forward P ratio of 12 then to 10 ish at the current price compared to the current P ratio that's extremely high but then the potential is that there will be 15 billion per year maybe 20 billion per year in earnings compare that to the market cap and then you can say yes in 2026 we can have let's say a P ratio of 10 but then compare it to other investment options we have just added Google to our YouTube portfolio and then we have seen that Google will also have a P ratio of 10 four or five years down the road most likely it already has a P ratio of 18 and compare that to the risk and reward of Disney I feel like maybe the risk with Disney is bigger but the reward is equal and then you think about investing and adding something to the portfolio and you say mm, that's also the process that we are doing here now on the channel looking at a lot doing the stock analysis marathon so that we can trickle down to the best that's for me investing and also another risk is uh, we did a short investing in streamers just quickly explaining how a lot of money is going into the business but then are we going to get that return on capital given the streaming wars who will win and that's another risk that we have to keep in mind when it comes to Disney we already have Whippity we'll put Disney as a contender in the contender video and then when I get to 710 contenders for the YouTube portfolio we will select from this Sunday Monday we already have two contenders so I hope you are enjoying this content we'll do more analysis where there I try to summarize the risk and reward so that you can quickly get to an investment conclusion and whether it fits you because at the end it's your money it's your investment decision it's your financial life thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video